request was made out to make this logo so here goes I'm doing it with GIMP click on pile new choose um, size you've got standard uh, templates here I'm going to choose 646 uh, 480 the width wants to be bigger than the height as you can see with the font there click OK Um, right now we're going to um, uh, start off with this arrow so we're going to use the uh, the brush or the pencil tool doesn't matter which one they still do the same click on this box here choose black click OK choose um, your brush size with this slider here uh, we need to draw straight lines here so first thing to we use uh, the shift key hold down the shift the first thing to do is uh, left click first and then hold down shift key to draw straight lines okay and that's done and then I'm going to uh, go to this um, this uh, gray arrow the inner one a bit different this is click on the uh, free select tool and then just click away you don't have to hold down shift key for this one just click click on that last one and you'll see those ants going round and round um, next thing to do we've got to color it in grey so click on your color select grey click OK and go to bucket fill tool and fill it in grey and uh, you can see those ants we've got to get rid of them so click select and then click none that's got rid of the ants Next thing we've got to uh, Crab Shack, so go to uh, your text tool, um, select the colour with this bar here, choose white, click OK, and choose um, a font here, click on this here, font, I can't show you here because every time I click it my computer freezes for some reason, um, you'll have to download the, uh, the font from the web here and all fonts are free. Um, but the nearest one I can get to, just to, to show you how to go on, is um, this one, uh, this, the Sans. Um, select the text tool, select white, and then click to type in Crab Shack. Crab Shack, close. You can see it, it's just uh, not exactly in white, but just like a grey. Um, the next thing to do is click on your move tool you've got to be very gently you've got to click on the actual letters to move it okay we should be click on the white here you're moving the background yeah uh, the next thing we do is we go to the um, perspective tool and I'm going to stretch it you just click and then you click on those corners and then click transform and the next thing to do we've got to add a, a black border around that uh, the crab shack so select uh, select the, uh, the layer here where it says crab shack right click click add to selection and then click on select and click on grow and choose the size of the border this is the black border we're going to put around it I'll just choose uh, I'll have a guess number three click OK and you can see those ants going round and round the next thing to do we've got to fill it in uh, we've got to fill that border in black so click on new add create new layer make sure it's uh, ticks transparent same size click OK and then go to your uh, colour, click on your colour here, this box and choose black and click OK and then go to bucket fill and then click it click on it 
and you can see it's completely turned black next thing to do is it's because this layer is on the top of the other layers so we select the layer what we've just done and click on arrow down and then select none and then we've got a border and um, the next thing to do we've got to uh, go with this mose um, now I, you're not going to want for that obviously because it's too big so we're going to paint it in so select your colour black so your pencil or uh, your brush tool select a scale and then uh, start off by um, left click first and hold down shift key to draw straight lines okay it's going to be a bit bit of hard work it's a bit slow but you'll get there and then go to your bucket fill and select uh, the color gray okay and then fill it in um, right now the letter O is a bit different so click on uh, Eclipse select tool and make the uh, letter O And now we need to uh, add a black border around that uh, that letter O. So uh, click on select. Sorry, click on edit and click on stroke selection. Stroke selection. But first, we want to choose a color, the color black. So click on your color, choose black. Click OK. Um, stroke selection, line width, um, I'll have a guess at number 8, click on stroke, and you can see those ants going round, to get rid of that click on select, none, there you go, next thing to do is go to your clips tool again, and draw, that let and draw the O in the middle, And then again, we've got to uh, fill it with a border, so click on Edit, Stroke, Selection. And click on Stroke. Click on Select, None. And then we've got to fill it in uh, grey, so click on any colour, click on grey, OK, Bucket Fill, and fill it in. OK, and just carry on. Um, you might have a mess about with this uh, S a bit so uh, that would take me a bit of time to do but that's um, just basically how you do it okay and then when you've done just uh, you can just merge them down merge merge them all as one merge down merge down and then click file click save as um, give it um, give it a name And then this is very important. You must type in dot jpg on the end, the extension jpg, and click save, and that will save it as uh, an image. Click save, export, 100% quality, and click save. Okay, that's um, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Bye.